Today's video is a sponsored video, and I will tell you a little bit more about how that works as we get a little bit deeper in. But you're definitely going to want to stick around for the end because not only is it sponsored, but I'm doing a giveaway as well. So I've got some pretty cool stuff to give away for you guys. But let's dive into this because today I want to talk to you about how to actually keep your shirt tucked in. I know that that seems like it's something that shouldn't actually require any technique and you should be able to just do and not have to worry about it. But there actually are some tips and tricks and there's a really good way to actually be able to distinguish between a shirt that's properly tucked in and one that isn't. So three different things to look for when you're doing this. Number one, make sure that the shirt is actually long enough. Now when it comes down to having casual dress shirts, these are things like OCBDs or uh, short sleeve button ups or anything that's still, yeah, maybe a button up shirt, but if it's casual, then it should be cut in a way that the length comes anywhere between the top of the belt and the bottom of the rise. So it's gonna fall somewhere in between there, somewhere in the middle, so that it doesn't actually look like a nightgown when you're wearing it untucked. The problem with this is that typically that means that it's too short to actually want to stay tucked in. Sure, it'll do the job if you sit in a desk all day and you don't move around, but if you do move around, you're getting in and out of a car for commuting or you have to run to catch a train, anything like that, then you may end up actually having the shirt come untucked and that can reflect on you poorly. So, number one tip, make sure that you are at least getting something that's long enough. Number two, this is one that if anybody actually sees you in your underwear and your undershirt, this looks ridiculous, but most of the time people aren't gonna see you like this, so I wouldn't worry about it. But the tip here is that you want to actually tuck in your undershirt into your underwear. I know that goes against anything you've ever thought you knew about how to properly dress yourself, but it actually works. And the reason why is because what it does is it reduces the amount of pull and friction by not having your undershirt move up and down because it's tucked into the elastic waistband of your underwear. It's not gonna be moving to try to get out of your pants as your body moves around, which means it's not gonna be pulling against your dress shirt. And so by keeping that anchored into the elastic waistband of your underwear, then it's going to allow your dress shirt to be able to sit there without the motion of the undershirt. So it looks a little bit ridiculous in the morning and at night when you're getting dressed and undressed, but it's a good one to have in a pinch. Okay, and number three, this is where something kind of different comes in. And to be honest, okay, I'll tell you a story about this, this third option. I saw a guy who presented this option uh, in Atlanta when I was at StyleCon. And I kid you not, we're there with 300 people and he's talking about this product and he just drops trow in front of everybody to show us his, uh, his shirt stays, these things. So basically the way that these work is you take the two clips at the top and you clip these to the front and the back of your shirt and then you take the one at the bottom and you clip it to the top of your socks. This is infinitely better if you're wearing proper dress socks that actually come up above your ankle and I'll give you, there's another benefit to this with that as well. What this does is it provides tension both with your socks and with your shirts in a way that it keeps your shirt tucked in nice and clean. And really, I mean, as soon as you see this, this really has a pretty drastic effect. Now, this company did not invent these. These have been used by guys in the military forever. The problem is almost anybody you talk to in the military will tell you that they're super uncomfortable. And so when this company, KK and J, the guys who make these reached out to me, they offered me a sponsored post to see if I'd be interested in doing this. And I'll tell you guys right now, You've seen sponsored posts in the past, you're going to see sponsored posts in the future, but while I do get a ton of requests for these, the only time I ever actually get far enough along in the process that I want to actually make a video for you guys is if it's a product that has benefited me and I believe will benefit you. And so the fact that I'm talking to you guys about this means that even though I was a little bit hesitant about it at first, it actually won me over. So they reach out, they wanna know if I'm interested, I think, eh, Maybe, you know, send me a set. I'll give them a try and we'll see what I can do. First couple of times I wore them, I didn't really think that anything was that different. Uh, to be honest, they were a little bit uncomfortable. Come to find out the reason why they are uncomfortable is because I wasn't putting them on properly. While I was putting them into my socks, I was actually clipping some leg hair in there as well. And so it was pulling against my leg hair all day, which obviously would be uncomfortable. But what I found is as I was wearing them in shorter increments, because I would wear them on days when I would only have to wear a suit for a few hours and I really wanted the presentation to be really good, after two or three times, I got used to them. And to be honest now, especially now that I put them on properly and they're not pulling at any leg air or anything, 
most of the time, if I'm in a suit and I'm actually wearing dress socks, a little bit different in the summer because I'll go sockless, but nine times out of 10, if I'm in a suit and wearing dress socks, I'm wearing these things because I love how clean the presentation is. They're incredibly comfortable. I don't even notice them once I, once I actually have them on and get things going. And I love that it just creates a little bit more of a refined, a little bit more of a detailed appearance. And so, although there was a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit of an acclimation curve for me, I eventually got sold on them. So, if you're the kind of guy who needs to be really particular about how fine his suiting looks, if you're not just a guy who works in like an IT department, maybe at a bank or something else where the dress code is maybe like a sloppy business, but it actually really is something that's applicable, or even if that's not your work environment, but you're going to a funeral or you're doing some sort of public presentation and you have to get up on stage and speak, any time when your appearance really just needs to be tweaked up another notch, these are worth it. These are absolutely worth it because it just gives more of that presentation of, yeah, I'm the kind of guy who pays attention to details. My clothing does what I want it to as opposed to looking unruly and disheveled and you don't sacrifice any comfort and you really only sacrifice just a little bit of time when it comes to actually putting them on. The other benefit is if you're someone like me, I walk around quite a bit um, and even when I wear well-fitting dress socks, the more I walk around throughout the day, even with socks that fit over my calves, eventually throughout the day I'm going to have to crank them back up because they're going to fall back down, they get loose, they get uncomfortable and so I have to pull them back up. Obviously with these having the tension against my shirt, I don't need to do that. Double-edged sword here, win-win. Not only do they keep my shirts tucked in, but they keep my socks pulled up. Again, it's more of that detail, makes my life more comfortable, and makes my life a little bit easier. So, I've got two sets of these I'm gonna give away. So here's what I want you guys to do. Leave a thumbs up on this video, leave a comment below, and tell me why you want to wear these, how you think they're gonna benefit you, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my four-year-old daughter go through all the different comments, and she's gonna pick two, just at random, can't even read yet, I'm gonna have her pick two, and whichever two she picks are the two guys that I'm gonna give these out to. Leave your comment below, I've also got a link for KK and J down in the comment section below, Go check these guys out. If you don't win, you still want to go get a pair of these because the price is great and the value that they offer is going to do a lot for you if you wear business clothing and you actually have to tuck your shirt in. So go check out KK and J. Excellent product. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I want you to win these. I'll see you guys next time. Guys, totally forgot to tell you one other thing. Use the code MS, as in masculine style, MS20 for 20% off anything from KKJ from now until July 7th. Go check it out.